Yeah, what's up guys, Grown Hobby coming back to you guys with another Turn Back Tuesday old school hockey break today. That's right, one that I've been kind of itching to do here for a while. It's a product I have not personally opened since I was a kid. It's been, holy smokes, what, 25 years roughly, I guess, since I've opened this stuff. But yeah, we are going to do an entire sealed hobby box of 96-97 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. And that is some pretty cool stuff uh, here. Obviously, it's tough to even get it all on camera. Background cards have nothing to do with the break today. They're just some cool cup cards because uh, I, I actually screwed up. I, a lot of you guys are maybe wondering where the heck my cup breaks uh, are at and stuff because I did order some cup this year. And I just honestly thought it was lost in the mailing and stuff, and I was just kind of waiting and waiting. But the, uh, the truth of it is I did not realize I actually threw on some uh, 2021 Upper Deck Series 2 stuff with it. I pre-ordered a little bit of that with that order, so uh the stuff is not shipping i'm not getting the cup until series two released so these videos uh you know this video here is going to be released right around the time uh i'm going to upload it for you guys right around the time that uh series two is probably being released so you know the cup should be not far behind it for sure uh, if i haven't already done the cup break on here for you guys because i will get it uploaded as soon as it comes in but uh yeah guys so anyway in anticipation of the cup those those cards left to right there they're all uh cards from the cup over the years i've opened uh, Jewel Erickson, a player having a heck of a year there for Minnesota. Uh, center stage is in Shryman's triples out of 15, uh, featuring Jonas Gustafson, uh, Victor Hedman, and my gosh, I can't even see it from here. Holy heck, why? My gosh, am I going blind or what? Michael Backlund. Holy heck, how the heck could I not see that? Michael Backlund. And then on the right side, uh, an enshrinement out of, you know, 99 there of Henrik Bjorkstrom. So... That being said, guys, let's just get right into this. The point of this, believe it or not, and I'm going to actually get the cellophane out of the way, guys, and then I'll let you guys check it. It is the original ceiling and stuff, as you guys can kind of see that upper deck seal there and all that. So this was not, you know, anything tampered with or anything like that. Um, obviously, the box is 25 years old. I have no idea what to expect with the stickage. I hope it's not too terrible. The stickage brickage that you guys are familiar with and stuff that, oh, gosh, I hope it's not terrible, but... Uh, Set that aside over there. I'll try and show you guys the box here. This is all just Meet the Stars promotion on the back. It's going to be the slant to kind of get it on there. But if you want to pause it and check it out, be my guest. But there are no odds or anything like that. They're just talking about the prizes and all this stuff like that. So that was the contest at the time. I'll show you guys the box, how it goes around here. Meet the Stars was the thing going on, uh, you know, during this time. So you're going to look for... Scratch and win cards inside for a chance to meet Wayne Gretzky, and wouldn't that just suck if we <laughs> scratch the card that uh, said we could meet Wayne Gretzky? You're going to get one 5x7 blow-up card, though, inside here. 20 of these foil packs are going to be found in here, 12 cards per pack. Uh, game day cards you can also find in here. Um, Game-worn jersey card inserts. So those are actually, other than that uh, crash-numbered Lord Stanley's Heroes insert cards, the game-worn jerseys are quite expensive in here. It's not like today's cards where you know you get pretty much a guaranteed game jersey per box or anything like that and they're worth like you know five bucks or something maybe no these ones are very legit uh the game jerseys found in here are in the hundreds of dollars if you find one of those that would be the big hit now the reason i actually bought this other than the cool factor and the fact that i opened this stuff when i was a kid of course i think i said hobby i meant to actually say retail obviously but uh the the, the thing here about this stuff if you guys don't know i am doing a project here um the plan was to have my project done where i had a pack of every single upper deck pack low series high series series one series two everything from every every year and release that they did uh with their flagship stuff leading up to the release of 2021 series one that was the plan couldn't get all the packs in time i'm still accumulating packs currently i i don't quite think that i'm actually even going to have this in time for series two but they're doing a 2021 extended series for the first time ever it's slated to be released right around june that's going to be my target date to have this all done and have all these packs what i want to do is a three-part video one of the 90s one of the 2000s one of the 2010s you know the present date uh where i'm going to open a pack from every single release um and just kind of travel through time with upper deck over the years now that brings me to this box so i'm going to set aside two packs out of here just random the top two packs there. It doesn't even matter. I'm going to set those aside. One of those is for that project that I'm talking about. The other is for a different project. Um, you will see those packs broke on here. I can promise you that. 
But uh, yeah, guys, the the thing is, some of these packs are very hard to find loose. This is one of the ones I cannot find loose anywhere, retail or hobby, for that matter. Um, everything that I'm kind of collecting is mostly hobby. Uh, there's a few retail. Obviously, this is going to be a retail pack in that kind of special video series. But uh, yeah, guys, you know, I, I just wound up buying the whole box here just to get the one pack. It wasn't too terribly priced, so I just went with it. Um, and yeah, you know, it's... It is what it is. Um, I'm missing two packs currently, guys. Two packs. Uh, and those, if anybody has, you know, their, their claws into this or can hook me up or has seen these at their LCS or anything like that, um, please let me know. And I'm going to show you guys the overtime cards. It's already kind of on camera. It's actually pretty cool. Nice Dougie weight. Oversized 5x7. Uh, kind of game day card there. Weight hits the 100 point. Mark for the first time. That's a pretty cool looking card there. Dougie Waite. There you go. Apparently it says four of five. So maybe they only have five cards in this release. I don't, I'm not sure. It's the first one of those I ever pulled because I actually never bought an entire box of this as a kid. Um, but my point is uh, this box, and I actually have a box that's going to be on another Turn Back Tuesday very soon. We got us a hobby box, and this one's clearly labeled hobby. Of 2000-2001 uh, Upper Deck Series 2. I bought this whole box because I can't find a pack of this to save my life either. So uh, I'm going to pull a pack out of there. But we'll do the rest of the box for a turn back Tuesday here in the very near future. Um, so look forward to that. But the uh, yeah, the other two that I cannot get my claws on to save my life. 2002-2003 Upper Deck Series 1. And 2003-2004 Upper Deck Series 1. Those two packs are the two that I need. I can't get them anywhere. I've only seen a box of each for sale, and the box of like 0203 was like $500 or something, and the box of 0304 was just insane. It was like $900 or something like that. I'm not paying that for one one pack that I need out of each, so I'm just going to keep looking. Um, but yeah, if you if anybody out there sees it, please let me know. If you want to pick it up for me, I'll absolutely pay for it. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to complete that project to make a really cool video series leading up to what seems to be right now 2021. Uh, Upper Deck Extended Series for the first time ever. Now that was honestly way too much blabbing, and I know it. Um, but yeah, let's just get into these packs. I'll hope for not a lot of brickage. Gonna have 18 packs left, subtracting those two packs that we set on the side. And just hoping to gosh that we don't have just brickage out the wazoo. And let's hope for a game jersey card. And then actually, brickage does not, I don't feel any brickage, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna fly through a lot of this because it's gonna be a lot of cards to get through. But Billy Ranford there, very nice. And uh, I guess every one of these are kind of uh, game dated and stuff. I didn't realize that at the time. Chris Chelios, Mike Ricci. Hopefully it's not turning this way and that way the entire time. Pat Falloon, Kevin Stevens. That's pretty cool there. Former Penn great. Marcus Naslin, Yikers. That's right around the time. Of uh, the horrible trade from the Pens to uh, Vancouver, where we traded for Alex Stoyanov. Just uh, yikes. Uh, we got a checklist card. I guess we'll have to flip. I don't even know what's going on here, guys. Oh, jeez. Uh, Johnny LeClaire played for the Pens for a cup of tea. Uh, holy heck, the font is just horrible with this, guys. Darren Quint. I'm sorry for the glare and everything else, but, boy, it's rough to... To see this stuff, the oh no, and they could have used something to make the letters stand out. I think that's a pretty cool picture. Zarly Zalapsky, another former pen right there. Pretty cool picture. And last but not least, in pack number one, Peter Bondra there of Washington Capitals fame. All right, so I will try to pick up the pace as much as I can. It's going to be a little bit hard to, uh, to just fly through it all because reading some of these names, these aren't names you call every single day. And I should tell you guys, too, uh, this, you know, kind of being the uh, the Series 1 stuff here, just taking a quick glance to refresh my memory here. Thomas Holmstrom, I believe you can find him in Series 1. Don't quote me 100%, but I believe his rookie card is found in here. But other than that, there's honestly not too great of rookies. It's all about the inserts in here, the Generation Next, the uh, Heart Hopefuls Bronze. I remember pulling one of those in the day. The game jerseys are the big get in here. Uh, Lord Stanley's Heroes Quarterfinals, Power Performers, and Superstar Showdown. Those are kind of the big inserts that you're looking for in here. Um, so, yeah, Marty McSorley starts us, though, in the next pack. Oleg Tavardowski. 
Just insane shine here. Jamie Langenbrunner. And I'm, I really do apologize for the glare on these cards. It is just almost impossible to uh, to show the names. Adam Deadmarsh. Billy Garen. There you go. I like him a heck of a lot. Uh, Sean Hill. Apparently that was taken on the pens there, as you can see in the background. But it says the pens try to slow down Hill in the sends. Meet the Stars Trivia Challenge. Uh, let's see. So this is, I guess, you scratch that. You scratch the right answer. If you get the right answer, I guess you mail it in and get put in that kind of drawing. Maybe that's what that's all about. So I guess you can't just pull something that's a little scratcher and says you meet Wayne Gretzky. Uh, Joseph Stumple. Saku Koivu. Johnny LeClaire again. Flip that around to find Alexei Zhitnik. And then there we go with Tommy Barrasso, Tommy B. There you go. All right. Moving along, moving along. I'm going to try and pick up the pace, like I said. I feel like I'm going to say that after every pack, but it's really hard to just read this. I wish they had done it in black font or just something to make the name stand out a little bit more to make this a little easier to just kind of cycle through. We have a lot of different, we definitely have something shiny in this pack. So maybe our first insert here. So Brian McCabe. Uh, Robert's failing. I'm not going to turn all these cards around every which way because it's just crazy. Pat Falloon. That's a Bob Probert right there. Kirk Muller. There we go. It's our first inserts. A Superstar Showdown. I remember pulling a couple of these in the day. Alexander McGillney. A little die cut action. Those are not numbered or anything like that, but that is absolutely a Superstar Showdown card there. Yeah, I remember having a handful of those, like I said, in the day. A checklist. Uh, I guess I can turn them around real quick and kind of show you guys. Mike Pekka, uh, Darby Hendrickson, Danny Alfredson, uh, Joe Saka, and last but not least, Nikolai Hobby Bullen. It's a pretty cool looking thing with like the, the uh, Z Z oh my gosh, that's a train I guess behind him. I thought it was a Zamboni pictured, but it looks like it's a train. Next up is Dougie Gilmore, Ted Drury, uh, an upside down that looks like Alf Samuelson. Yep, Alfie. Oh, I really don't want to turn all these around, so don't don't kill me, guys. But I'm not going to turn every one of these around. Michael Nylander. There's a wrecking ball, Mark Recchi, Jason Daw, and then we got a. That's going to be a star rookie of Nick. Uh, Stad, oh boy, Stadahar. I'm gonna say the J is silent, but uh, that's what that is. <laughs> uh, let's see, Alec, or I'm sorry, not Alec, but uh, Steve Jason. Oh my gosh, come on, Yanni Lockinen, Igor Larionov, Craig Janney, and last but not least is Yuri Letnin. Okay, jeez Louise. Jason Muzotti, I actually remember pulling an autograph card of his uh, in the day. Yannick Perot. Oh my gosh, Stefan Roche. Wayne Primo, that's a pretty cool looking card there of Wayne Primo. Brother of Keith. It's actually pretty cool. Nice little picture there for sure. Steve Connor Walchuk. Cam Neely. Another one of those kind of scratchers. Jova, Ed Jovanovsky, looks like is going to be that one. I guess it's now the third card back behind uh, Scott Young and Joey Juno. There you go, Jovo. Jamie Rivers, and last but not least is David Oliver. Hopefully this triggers a little bit of memories for some of you guys. Down memory lane, you can see the vast changes in... Uh, Kind of how the cards have changed over the years in this stuff. Dmitry Kurstich, Igor Larionov again, uh, Stephen Leach, Jason York, Michael Sikora, holy heck, Yerky Lumi. There's a different one. Sebastian uh, Bordalo, star rookie there for the Canadians. There you go. And Ted Drury. Oh, man, these are just impossible. Brian McCabe. Vinny Danfus and Jeff Sanderson and John Roloff. So, yeah, this is still in kind of the junk wax era and stuff where this just was 
so produced. The quality control wasn't as great. Cards flipped every which way, but I mean, I will say it's nice. The stickage is not crazy. There's a nice one. Patrick Waugh, very cool looking card there, hoisting the cup. Boy, that's got to be right around the time uh, Danny Alfredson when, uh, you know, it was always the Red Wings and Avalanche there. A very hated rivalry in the playoffs. Doug Waite, Shane Corson, Trevor Linden, Ray Whitney. That's wow, that's wild. Ray Whitney. Jeez, that guy was around forever. Through the glass, I do remember these it's also. Dino Cicerelli. Through the glass insert. No numbering on those, obviously. I don't think there's numbering actually in anything in here, any of these subsets or anything like that. Uh, John Slaney. Paul Yespert. Uh, Robert Fela, Dave Anderchuk, and Dougie Gilmore. And again, guys, I know the, the shine's just crazy because all you gotta understand this is very, very shiny. The uh, the trim of these cards and keeping the, the the glare down is very, very hard on camera. Uh, it's actually blinding me even trying to read these names. Nick Lidstrom, though, there's a, a definitely a cool one. Johnny Leclerc again. Mike Madonna. Peter Nedved. Pierre Sakura. And we got another. Hey, that's a good one. That's probably the hit of the box. Superstar Showdown, Wayne Gretzky, and I actually happen to have price guide kind of next to me here. This Superstar Showdown. Let's see if we can get a Beckett value on it. I don't think it's anything crazy, but let's see. Ah, it's pretty decent, actually. I mean, for this era when most things were junk, that's a $10 card right there. So that's pretty cool. Probably going to wind up being the card of the break because I don't anticipate pulling a jersey. I think that's going to be a... Very hard pull. They don't have the odds on it, but uh, you know, for how much those jersey cards are worth, I don't think we're going to do that. Patrice Brisbois, Chris Terry, to, um, <laughs> yeah, Terrari, Oleg Tverdowski, Craig Johnson, and oh my gosh, that Jason Muzzotti. Holy heck, this is taking me so long. I can't believe how long this is. I, Grant, there's a lot of blabbing at the beginning, but we're already 10 minutes into this break, and we only got half the packs. Marty Brodeur, Chris Pronger, Adam Deadmarsh, Eric Desjardins, uh, Patrice Brisbois, uh, Dmitry Yushkevich, star rookie of Alexei Yegorov for the Sharks. Uh, Peter Sakura, Eric Dazé, Ziggy Palfi, Sean Burke, and Michael Anderson. Or Mikel Anderson, I should say. And I'd really love to see a thick card here. Derek Quint. Oh my gosh, that is the man. No, it is not. I saw King stuff. I didn't read the number or anything, but uh, it's not Wayne. Is Vitaly uh, Menef. Stu Barnes. Boy, I liked Stu Barnes when he was with the Pens. Paul Correa. Sergey Gonchar Sarge. That's pretty cool. Jewel Auto. Meet the Stars. Uh, one of the Scratchers again. Jeff Jonfi. Jamie Rivers. Tony Monte. Yannick Perot. And John McClain. Big John McClain. to be confused with uh, a diehard John McClain. Alright, Tommy Fitzgerald. Stevie Eiserman. That's pretty cool. Even though I'd say Mr. Barron is uh, more so featured on that card. Chris Osgood. Uh, Guy Bear. I liked him a lot. I got a few things autographed by him in the day. You could send him a card and he would send it back autographed. Larry Murphy, another former Penn great. And a Theo Fleury uh, Superstar Showdown, Theo Fleury. Another one of those scratchers. Jamie Pusher, Joe Sacco, uh, Ronnie Hextall, now Penn's GM. That feels weird to say, looking at a Flyers uniform there. Igor Larionov, and last but not least, Grant Fuhrer. All right, getting down to it. Hoping to have this wrapped up by the 25-minute mark, so about five minutes max, hopefully. Reading the names is the hardest thing here. Some of these photography things are crazy looking. So Sandy McCarthy, look at that. With uh, Dave Letterman there in the background. That's, that's, <laughs> that's some weird photography that they chose for this stuff. Trevor Kidd. 
Uh, Darian Hatcher. Boy, did I hate him. He played for the Flyers. Jamie Lang and Bruner. Oh, Nolan. Jim Carrey, not to be confused with Ace Ventura. We got a star rookie. There's a nice one. Yes, sir. Jerome Aginla. That is pretty cool. Um, taking a quick look at that, though. Unfortunately, the, the Beckett high value on that, believe it or not, it's only 75 cents. So, you know, mass produced and stuff like that. Just values aren't what you'd think they'd be. Kevin Stevens, Alexei Zitnik, uh, Damian Rhodes, Alfie, and last but not least, uh, Anti Tormanen. All right, about a half dozen packs left here. Like I said, I'm not really holding out hope for the game jersey card, although it would be really cool to get a jersey card. I don't think I ever pulled one, to be honest. Ray Bork. Uh, holy smokes. Joe Deedzik. Yeah, I actually remember that name. Wow. Jeff Hackett. Alfie Samuelson. Jamie Pusher. And we got a Brennan Shanahan Superstar Showdown there. Oh, we got a couple inserts in this one, so there you go. Shanny. And a Through the Glass, Murray Barron. So two inserts in that pack. Larry Murphy, Yui Krupp, uh, Brett Hedigan, Chris Pronger, and Kenny Johnson. Let's get one of the other kind of things, maybe the Heart Hopefuls or something like that, or Ward Stanley's uh, quarter cards. Yeah. Mike Richter. Oh my gosh, I can't read anything. Alex Hicks. Theo Fleury. All star card there. Stefan Roche. Grant Marshall. Janie uh, McQueen. McCoon. Scratcher. Uh, Martin Jonas. Eric Weinrich. Nicholas Sundstrom. Ronnie Francis, Tommy Fitzgerald. So, you know, it is fun to uh, kind of stroll down memory lane and open this stuff, but what's not fun is trying to get this to actually show for you guys on camera. So, once again, I do apologize. I know there's a lot of glare coming from this, but it is very hard. Like, this way, I know there's not much glare, but I can't see the names, honestly. Maybe it shows up on camera, but I, honestly, I can't see the names at all. Kenny Johnson, Beezer, John Van Breesbrook, uh, Luke Richardson, Lexi Yoshin. Martin Jonas, Chad Kilger, and we got it through the glass, Theo Fleury. Turn these, I don't know why there's like three cards turned around at the bottom of every pack. Grant Marshall, Craig Janney, uh, Darren McCarty, Jovo, and Shane Donovan. All right, three packs to go. Like I said, I did set two packs aside, one for that project, and another one will be for a future break on here. You guys will see where I go with that. So have no fear, Tommy B. JR, Jeremy Roenick. Probably better just look at the pictures, honestly. Pat LaFontaine. Thomas Sandstrom. Uh, J.F. Jomfi. And I'm, I'm noticing, I guess not every card has the game day and stuff because some of these are not uh, narrated. I'm, I'm noticing that now for the first time. Roman Hammerlick. Greg DeVries. I actually believe I have that card, that star rookie there. I think I actually remember pulling a few of those in the day. Uh, Sarge. Brent Fittick. Alexei Zamnoff. Eric uh, Fashad and Sandy McCarthy again. Last two. Nikolai Hobby Bullen again. Uh, Al McGinnis. Paul Correa. Uh, Stefan Leach, Brian Holtzinger, Murray Barron, or Baron, Iggy again, same star rookie card. I mean, it's pretty cool. You know, I'll probably definitely at least keep one of those in the PC. That's pretty cool. Probably wind up giving the other away. Marty McGinnis, Alexander Semek, Eric uh, Fashad, Alexei Zamnoff, and Billy Ranford. Last pack, guys. Like I said, 18 of the 20 packs. Here today, I don't see anything fixed, so I'm going to say no game jersey cards. But, uh, you know, maybe one of those two packs of set aside, maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? Yuri Lettinen, uh, Kenny Reggett, Lexi Yashin, Dougie Waite, Todd Marchant, and then we got a nice 
nice way to end it there. Ray Bork, Superstar Showdown. That's a heck of a player there. And our scratcher. Our final cards are going to be Andrew Castles, Gord Murphy, Ronnie Francis, Nicholas Sundstrom, and our last card of the day, Mr. Ray Bork. So there you go, guys. Probably the, honestly, the most valuable card that we pulled and probably the hit of the break uh, that I'll sleeve up here in a minute. This Wayne Gretzky Superstar Showdown card. I don't think I ever actually pulled that one, even in the day. So that's a pretty cool pull for me. It'll go to my PC. Uh, so not too shabby. I'll take it. I mean, it's not the, the most uh, enjoyable as far as aesthetically pleasing breaks to, to get these cards to show and stuff like that and to fly through them, you know. But uh, it is cool, nonetheless, to turn back the clock, you know, 25 years or so and stuff and check out some old school stuff. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night, wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.